Yeah, I mean, I have bumped into Bob. Um, you know, we haven't had a conversation as such. I mean, you know, I did ask him one night if he would play Ring Them Bells. It was in Paris. And um, it was just a brief, like, you know, passing. And uh, he said, oh, you like that song? And I said, yeah, I, I really love that song. I said, will you play it tonight? Yeah, maybe I will. Well, guess what, you know. So I spent the whole evening, you know, waiting for him to say, oh, I met a guy on the street tonight and he really likes this song. I'm going to sing it for him now. And no, nah, didn't, didn't happen. Um, I flown, I flew back from uh, Dublin one time into London Heathrow with the band sat around me. That was um, Winston Watson and JJ and Bucky um, and Tony Garnier. That was fun. Literally, I had Winston to my left. I think I had JJ on my right. I'm sat in the middle. Um, we were talking about uh, Wanted Man, the uh, the wonderful fanzine that John Baldy ran for so many years. And um, at the time, John had not been particularly kind, I don't think, about JJ's um, guitar playing, which I love, but John didn't seem to love it. So JJ was flicking through this Telegraph magazine, trying to trying to find the bad bits about him, so he could be all upset about about uh, Wanted Man and and John Baldy. Um, but yeah, I mean. Met Allen Ginsberg leaving the Beacon Theatre one night. We just happened to kind of walk out together. Um, I'd seen him at the stage door um, prior to the show, and I so I knew he was around. And we literally just left the theatre together, and I just struck up conversation with him. Um, and I asked if he'd managed to see Bob that night, and he said, "Yes, you know, he's very. He was a very small man. Yes, yes, I have. Yeah, yeah." Oh, and what did you, you know, can I ask what you talked about? Oh, he, he wanted me to recite him some poetry. So I'm like, oh, really, what, what was, by well, this time we were out in the street on a street corner, and, you know, there's Ginsburg and me kind of face to face. And that was kind of a surreal moment. And he said, um, oh, he asked me to recite some William Blake. It's a poem called um, Ask a Thief to Steal a Peach. And so at that point, he got right up into my face, or as little as he was, looking up at me, and he recited this uh, two verse poem ask a thief to steal a peach right up in front of my face and swiveled and turned turned around and walked down Broadway, left me there with my chin on the sidewalk. Um, that was kind of a nice moment. What um, year was that? Uh, 1990, October 1990. I asked him if he enjoyed the show and he said no, the sound was, he didn't like the sound. He said the sound was very bad where he was sat. Um, but yeah, that was a, those kind of moments you don't forget in a, in a hurry. Um, met Joan Baez once at Mud Island in um, Memphis. Talked to her for a little while. She's, I said, she was sitting watching, I was going to say watching the river flow. She literally was sitting there watching the river flow. And I came up and uh, I said, I hope I'm not disturbing you. You know, I have my Bob Dylan hat on, my Bob Dylan shirt, you know. And uh, I said, do you mind if I just talk to you for a minute? And she said, you can stay, but just not for too long. So I was like, hmm, okay. So I had to decide how long was too long, I guess. I'm not sure. But that was that was fun. She was she was very sweet. Um, but yeah, I've met I've met a bunch of the band. I flew back from London to Atlanta, I think 2015 with the band, um, after they'd finished the playing at um, the Royal Albert Hall. So there was um Charlie and and all those guys on on the flight. That was that was that was fun to see them immediately the you know, I knew what they'd been doing the night before because I'd been doing the same thing. 